It's not easy competing at a world-class level. It takes hard work, dedication, and a will to focus on all the details that set your game apart. SwimOutlet.com understands this. That's why they're the best swim and water polo shop. All orders placed by 6 p.m. Eastern ship out the same day. The best selection of gear, the lowest price is possible, and if your order's over $49, you ship for free. Check out SwimOutlet.com. You'll be glad you did. At the London Olympics, battles will be fought in the pool, and they won't all be races. Some will be the King's Game that originated in Great Britain, water polo, and they will star Tony Azevedo. If you think Azevedo looks like an Olympic god, you're right. In water polo, he's a man of the world, an international star with impressive credentials. Born in Rio, Brazil, from a water polo dynasty, his dad starred on the Brazilian national team and later coached both the Brazilian and the USA national team. Tony Azevedo, his son, grew up stateside in California, a USA citizen. In college, all four years at Stanford, he won the Peter Coutinho Award, water polo's version of the Heisman Trophy. Men's journal named him the seventh greatest athlete on earth. The US Olympic Committee crowned him player of the year, but his league of water polo fans just call him the savior. Azevedo has played professional ball all over the world for a lot of countries, but his heart's with Team USA. After three Olympic Games and a silver medal in Beijing, he's now captain of the USA national team. We caught up with him in Thousand Oaks, California, where he trains with Team USA under legendary coach Terry Schroeder. Are water polo players the greatest athletes on earth? Yes, they are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> What's the best analogy to water polo? Huh. You know, a lot of people, I've heard the football analogy, what, what is it? Well, you know, I guess if you, if, you could, if you could explain water polo, the easiest way would be basketball, similar game, center, guards, point guard, everything, the transition, everything pretty much the same, instead of, instead of there's a goal instead of a net, and uh, you're doing that in the water with a guy wrestling you the whole entire time. What are you doing? What's, what's a heavy day of training, swimming-wise? Heavy day of training, I mean, probably around uh, eight, 9,000. I mean, before 2004, we were going 12, 13. But now, I mean, right now, today was an easier day, about 45. If you swam, what would you do? Would you do 50 free? Would you do 200 free? Do you, do you have, can you put down a solid swim? 50 free, you kidding me? I don't want to, I don't need to be training. <laughs> the big, big yardage. What, what, what's, what, what's your 50 free, 50 yard free? Uh, you know, I, the, the only time I've ever raced, you know, like shame table sophomore year, I went at 22. I go 22 lows here off a of push during training. So I, I don't know what I could do. 22 lows off a of push, cap on, cap off. Cap off. Cap off. 22 lows from a push, long hair. That's respect. At the end of training. At the end of training. <laughs> <laughs> team USA historically has not been dominant in water polo. National team head coach Terry Schroeder, famous for his Olympic statue outside the Los Angeles Coliseum, was a star in his day. 1984-1988, taking silver at both those games. For 20 years, USA water polo was off the medal stand until Azevedo led them to another silver medal in 2008. They lost to Hungary. When I asked him about the Hungarians or other stiff foreign competition, here's what he had to say. God, the Hungarians, we hate them. <laughs> um, Honestly, it, I'm gonna say all the Europeans, especially like the Serbians, the, the Montenegrins. I mean, it just seems like, you know, we, we won that silver medal. We lost the gold against Hungary and that was, that was just brutal. But it seems like, you know, always the Europeans kind of kind of take themselves as, oh, we're, we're much better than any of the American teams or the Australian teams. And honestly, the Olympics isn't about that. It's about making other continents and other teams better, everyone around the world competing. So, you know, while we're looking at it, let's try to make as many teams out there good. I feel like the Europeans are like, we're better. Why we waste our time with these guys? So we want to beat them every time we do it. The Team USA, silver, uh, how does Team USA stand going into 2012? You know, I think our team looks great right now. I mean, we're, we're a lot, we're all, almost all of us are back. We're hungry because we have just one one away in this last quadrennium. I mean, we've gotten fourth, 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 just one out of the medal round every single time. And we've, we've had guys not here, guys injured. This is the first time all of us are together. We're foregoing big contracts in Europe to train seven months together. No other team's doing that. We're going to get that goal. What? What's the one thing? What's the edge Team USA has to has to have? What bridge you have to cross? You know, I, I think 
we're always we're always going to be a little bit step behind when it comes to the tactical play that Europeans have. You know, they're playing 40, 50, 60 games a year since they were 12 years old. But you know, we just have to take it physically to that, that next level, which which we will. That's why we're here. But I think if, if we can just gel together as a team, like we did in 2008, even more so. I don't think, I don't see anyone that can beat us. I think swimmers sometimes have an inferiority complex. If they could catch a ball, they would play water polo. Have you heard this before? <laughs> uh, I haven't heard that that one exactly before, but there's a. Uh, I mean, I definitely swimming is it's not something I'd like to do. <laughs> are, you, do are you? Are you? Do you know Mappiani from you know the, the Cal day? You were a Stanford grad, you know, yeah. from the Cal days. He's he was iconic because he was a crossover and he was really proud of his water polo career. Yeah, you know, I, I grew up. Uh, knowing him, I met him once when I was younger, but you know, I, you know, I've never really sat down and met, met Matt. But yeah, the crossover, same with Brad Schumacher as well. It's part of that. It's uh, it's tough, and it's but it's great. It's great to see that. That's it. We're out. <laughs>